Hey guys, I hope you're hungry. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts here on the Full Instance channel. My name is Jericho. In the last episode, we had our first day of adventures here on Destiny Island. We acquired the parts for our raft. There still is one more idyllic day of sunshine with our friends here on the island. Um, but today, we are after provisions for the raft for our adventure. Um, we actually already scooped up the mushroom in the last episode. Um, previously, Kairi was blocking us from walking out here to the cove. Um, but now, we can do so. Uh, Riku doesn't want to fight us today. He wants to challenge us to a foot race. Um, we have to do it to advance the story. I've beaten him many times, like in my life, but never during the story time when it's important. Maybe once. Um, so that so that pains me. I think they already have two mushrooms. Um, I think I remember where everything is. We should, it shouldn't take too long to finish uh, Kyrie's little scavenger hunt for today. Is he Riku? Okay, I guess we do have to talk to Riku first to start. So basically, the race is from where we saw Riku earlier to this star and back. And there's two different ways to go. You can go up top and grab the rope swing and go, or you can take the little uh, land route. Um, if you follow up, Riku, you have like the exact same running speed as Riku, but he gets a good drop on you. Um, and if you're following him exactly, you sometimes will get tripped up on um, on this bridge part because it's the part that falls away. So it's better to take the ran route because it's easy to miss. Um, but I don't know. We're, we're just gonna see how it takes us. Hey, sorry, I still left. So these are the name. But what I call it. Um, what I call it. Jericho doesn't really fit for a raft name. Let's just call it the... I do like Highwind, it's cool. <laughs> I usually end up calling it Highwind just out of respect for, for, uh, for Riku here. Let's call it... I don't know, be very indecisive. Let's just go with Slave One. That's what I always used to call it as a kid. Slave one, of course, is uh, Boba Fett's ship. A modified fire spray class. Slave wood. Okay. So yeah, this shows us the root. See, the thing about the rope is it sort of takes you out of the way. If I win, it's easy to miss uh, grabbing the if you win, grabbing it, and then you're way behind. Huh? Oh! Deal? Thing just got turned up. That was probably Wonder really loud. Um, I, I noticed when I was editing the last two episodes that my okay. um, the game volume was really count. loud, and I can't really turn it down so easily. So I'm compensated by turning the, my mic volume up. So at least you should be able to hear me. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's why the, the, the rope isn't so fast, is because um, you have to climb up the ladder. I don't know, this isn't going right, and the platforming is so difficult to do well. But I think I'm in the lead. I really like um, how Riku acts in this race. He's like such a like horrifying automaton. Like, come on! See, that just cost me. Uh. Uh. Yay! Hey! Score two to one. I win. Pretty stone on deck. Take that, loser. Just a name after all. What about the Palpo? What about Kyrie's Palpo? Okay, so race done. Now Kyrie will give us our list of, um, of things to find. I think that we need two mushrooms. Maybe we'll go ahead and grab those. A sharper eye viewers might have noticed that there's an item up there. I do not exactly remember how to get to that. And by exactly, I mean at all. I think there's a fish. Oh no, it's a starfish. And um, you have to cross uh, both parts of the island to get to everything um, on the list. One seagull egg, three mushrooms, two coconuts, three fish, and drinking water. 
Okay, so um, the fish are easiest to get uh, swimming around on the other side of the island. Um, as are, I think you can get coconuts here if you just like wall up the trees. But these uh, brownish ones, you know, are no good. You have to get yellow ones. The seagull egg, I know, is on the island um, that Riku was on yesterday. Um, I can't remember how many coconuts she said. I'll have to check with her. It's either two or three. And I would say just go ahead and get three, but they probably stop appearing once you have enough. Right, what's that, girl? One seagull egg, three fish, and then the, um, the drinking water. So you obviously can't just dip it into the, uh, I can't believe I won when I was stuck on this for so long. I had a really good jump on him. Like, it just works sometimes. Um, the platform is definitely this game's weak point for sure. I guess I can push the block over here. Let's go ahead and do it. I don't remember what the item is. Oh, can I pick it up? Come on. I don't want to, uh, damage it too much. Yay! That's a treasure chest. A protect chain, okay. So, I actually, um, between episodes, I'm gonna look into it. There are several different challenge runs that we can get the fresh water right here. Let's see, because it's not from the ocean. Uh, the waterfall on the main part of the island works as well, not in the cove. <clears throat> there are several different challenge runs that the game encourages you to do um, through trophies. Um, and I think one is never equipping any equipment, or one is like using the Kingdom Key, the regular uh, Keyblade weapon for the entire time. So I might look into trying to do one of those because I kind of feel weird about doing um, not crowd mode when I know the game really well. Like, I just, like I know I'm better than that. I should have done something. I just want the, the um, want it to be like a little bit of a different playthrough. Um, so I'll see if there's one that applies to us that I think will be, you know, a good level of challenge, but nothing crazy. So you can get the coconuts here too. But the other way is better because, um, you're just constantly, um, you're constantly hitting, uh, the trees because there's so many around. Fish, you just walk up to them and get them. I can't remember if it's two or three again. Um, it might just be those two. And you can fight all your friends again today, but, um, I mean, it's just for a little experience. I'm excited to move on, so we'll probably, I don't really remember if there's anything left to see today. I guess we'll go ahead and, and uh, and head back to Kyrie. I guess I could fight. Let me, let me go talk to Titus, because, um, or Titus, as I, I suppose it really should be now. Um. Because I, I spoke to Waka and um, Yuffie again, or Selfie again, in the last episode. But, not Tidus. So we'll go ahead and see what, what he's got going on. And I suppose I could fight them again, just for fun. Or, or maybe I just them. You've gotten stronger, but odds are you're still no match for Riku. I sorted him and ran him. And I beat you well, for I guess what is Kyrie well. can always count on him. Oh boy, he's asking for it. You're going down. Okay, so after we teach him a lesson in respect, uh, we'll go ahead and turn in our, uh, our findings to Kyrie. You just have so much more HP and such a faster attack than your friends. I mean, like, I mean, obviously, like, he has the same attack pattern, where when I keep battering into it, he always does that counter afterwards. But there's just, there's just really, there's just really no need for finesse um, with anybody but Riku. Or, or, and I guess the three-on-one side. Oops. Okay, so that's done. Let's go ahead and talk to Kyrie. I think we have everything already. That was really quick. Um, usually I forget about where one of those mushrooms are, but... Like, I know there's one in the secret place, and I remember pushing the... Pushing the rock to get the other one. The loss of shells. That's great. 
I didn't know that um, she sh it showed it in progress. That keychain comes up again later. Hey, I have potion. That would be nice. Let's go ahead and call it a day. So the game is go really going to kick into high gear you know, very soon. Riku has changed. What do you mean? Well... Okay. I really like how idyllic like, the beginning of the game is. Sora, it just gets across a lot of the game's the themes. And... Just the two of us. Huh? And this is cool too. Like, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding, but why you bring it up? You. You're the one that's changed, Kyrie. I guess they're doing like the heat Maybe. shimmer thing, but the effect on the hair is really weird. You know, it looks like it's supposed to be a dream sequence. I was a little afraid at first, but now I'm ready. No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Maybe. Right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's I, good. I would not speak with such confidence, Sora. Sora, don't ever change. Sora! Huh? <laughs> I'm so, I love this game so much. I can't wait. I like, can't it's wait. really not until you're done with Traverse Town that you're, like, It'll really in it. And it... Uh, so awesome. I, I, I can't wait either, Kyrie. Donald. Sorry to rush off without saying goodbye, but there's big trouble brewing. This, uh, I could do it okay, Mickey, but it's, it's not clicking today. Not sure why, but the stars have been blinking out one by one, huh? And that means disaster can't be far behind. I hate to leave y'all, but I've got to go check into it. Uh -huh. There's someone with a key, the key to our survival. Uh, so I need you and Goofy to find him and stick with him. Got it? Okay, so later in the game, I don't want to spoil. Later in the game, somebody else gets the key. And Donald and Goofy are like, sorry, the king said to follow the key. No, he said follow him. Well, I was just about to say, follow the person with the key. Well, oh, would you apologize to Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. Oh! So, I mean, I mean, I guess I see what they're saying. But they're still jerks. Oh, dear. What could this mean? I mean, we'll get into it way, way, way later when that it scene actually happens, but... We'll just have to trust the king. I think one reason why my Mickey voice isn't so great is because right. my voice is so much than a healing mouse. We'll find the king and the king. I think Thank having you. these these cutscenes with Both Donald and Goofy interspersed are a good idea because they'd be long all in a row. But I like how it's like everybody's adventure is on the way. Both of you. Oh, and to chronicle your travels, he will accompany you. Over here. Why not just say Jimmy Cricket will accompany you? Jiminy Cricket, at your service. I haven't seen we Pinocchio safe in a really Please. long time. I've never liked it as much. Um, really, a lot of the like the Disney Renaissance ones, I like so much more. Aladdin, Beauty the Beast, Lion King. Hercules is actually my very favorite Disney movie. Um, with uh, Great Master Detective and Close Second, all, second. all of those are like late '80s, early '90s. Um, it was terrible. Snow, we were Sleeping Beauty is wonderful. Snow White, I've never been so into. Pinocchio, not so into. So yeah, now Donald and Goofy are on their way to find the key and help King Mickey. Meanwhile, we're in other worlds. We can't get on where we're from. What they're talking about here is like a thing throughout the game, but it's always. I mean, Border works there too, Donald. Don't be a dick. It continues throughout the game, like it's a thing, but it's never. It's always just as a, as a running joke. Like, we get there. like, yeah, oh. in certain worlds, they look. They're, um, Donald uses his magic to make them look different, so they won't, like, so the, the residents won't freak out. But, like, it's not exactly so convincing. I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. So here are good old Chip and Dale in their original incarnation in the Rescue Rangers. Um, their clothes are made to look like Indiana Jones and Magnum PI. Did you know that? That looks like the the output of the speaking device, not the input, but I mean, do I know? I also don't know how Chip and Dale, I'm pretty sure, end up on the ship with Don and Goofy. But, I mean, I guess the C-3PO and R2 could get aboard the Tana 4 and Rogue 1, then I might watch that out. How'd it pick them up from their upside downs? <laughs> dog, 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 no pants, no pants, no pants, no pants. I was gonna just say it was the dog sensor, but as we stated, Goofy is. 
So here is the gummy ship. A lot of people um, say that they don't like it so much, but I've always loved the gummy ship. I like building my own. I'll probably build a cool one off, off camera sometime. Um, just because it makes it, it makes the game a lot easier. Um, some of the later um, gummy ship challenges are quite difficult in the original ship. Um, but it's not going to be the most fun to watch as I try to puzzle out the controls. Because the controls aren't nearly as good as they could be. But it's fun just flying through space and blasting stuff. I, I've always had a soft spot for, for the gummy ship. This is cool too. Um, I just can't wait. Uh, we, we've been talking we in, in the last episode about how... It'll be great. You know, I originally played this on like a, like a really dark TV, and and just the original game was much less well lit than the remastered one. Oh no, the raft! But um, and I'm seeing a lot of details I've never seen before. Sora, dinner's ready. Come on down, Sora. Out the window. Maybe bring one of those spears and stuff. You're gonna run out of your three fish pretty damn quick. That. So yeah. Riku's boat. Our destiny and Kyrie's is upon us. So here are the heartless, the monsters from our dream. We cannot damage them with our wooden sword. Um, but if you look, you can see Riku standing over there. So it doesn't take much to realize that we can just run over to him. You can also see that the secret place uh, has changed I thought significantly. She was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We've got to find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm the not afraid of the of darkness. something is already awake in Riku. Riku? I mean, what about poor Kairi? So Riku has chosen his own path. Um, it, will, it will be some time before he and I cross paths again. But if you're familiar with the game at all, you'll know under what circumstances that meeting will be. Luckily enough, we've been granted a weapon to fight the darkness. It chose us because of our pure heart. So in the very first episode, I mentioned how I got, I screwed myself up right good um, in this fight. So you see the command menu, how I can move what I'm choosing. X, X just does whatever is lined up on your command menu. So I accidentally went here, and I couldn't fight the Heartless, and they just were messing me up. Um, but I've learned. Um, the Heartless are actually um, infinite, so there's really no point um, in fighting them forever. Um, it is nice to get a level up or two. I mentioned um, in the last episode that there's an upcoming boss fight that it doesn't matter to the story if you win or lose, but you do um, get a much nicer item should you win, as well as a, as a hefty helping experience. And these extra levels can help you do that. So I probably, um, as soon as I'm not in battle, um, you can tell by your uh, command menu turning blue. Let's see how long it'll take me to get one more level up, because I'll get another one before I leave the island. 54, that's gonna take two. Let's just go. I mean, whatever. I'll either beat the, win the fighter up. Um, and you know, obviously you can tell by how different it looks. We gotta make our way back to the secret place. I guess there's thunder in the game. I keep hearing weird stuff. I hope it's not my cat losing his mind. Should probably stop the episode pretty soon and investigate, but I, I think I want to get off Destiny Islands today. Um, there's a lot of cutscenes though, Kyrie. so this episode might end up being pretty long because of that. Sora. Yep, 
yeah, the game never really adequately explains what's going on with Kyria there. I guess she's just a vision. Like, she was never in the secret place. She already has also made her own way off the island, much like Riku. Under different circumstances, of course. But now we're on all that's left of Destiny Island as it's being overwhelmed by the darkness. And before we make our escape, we must once again keep out of the dark side. He has a lot more HP and it does a lot more damage and has some new attacks in this um, compared to the last fight, but the same tricks work against him. Oops. I don't think I mentioned this episode, tech points are extra experience points you get for uh, basically doing cool things in fights. So I might live to regret not equipping that high potion. Um, so I'm not going... Normally, I would try to kill him only using uh, things that get me um, the free tech experience points. Um, but... I'm a bit... I don't want to lose the fight. I'd like to get him like this, where I'm also hitting the, the little heartless. Um, so I can take them out um, and get some of the weight to keep the drugs. I love the design of this game. I love how your HP and magic meter look. I love the little bouncing HP balls and the money. Um, we haven't seen any money yet. It won't be until... Okay, so now he's this low. You can go right into his head and get um, some free tech experience. This attack, you don't want to hit you. I don't remember exactly how it works, but it, it's trouble. The power! So this is our second time fighting Darkseid. We fought him in the first episode at the end of our, our spooky uh, revelatory dream. Um, but it will not be the last. Okay. So yeah, I guess those leave a little memory. Let's try to go ahead. See, sometimes it just doesn't lock on to what you want it to lock on to. That's why the toggle is so important. Uh, should have used that then instead of just letting him try to relock. He shouldn't have too much HP left, to be honest. I knew that was a little fast, but luckily I got some of them that was fast too. Dang it. A little heartless. They, they reuse this boss music a few times throughout the game, but I, I, I like it as a theme, regardless. Alright, come on. What you got for me, bud? I really like his weird, um, monster. Okay. There we go. So Slap Shot is actually a new ability um, that was added for the final mix. So it's not one I'm super familiar with. I think you start your combo with like this weird move. I kind of don't like it, to be honest, um, but it is cool to have an ability that's early in the game. Traditionally, the first ability you get is Dodge Roll, but it's not until you're done with, um, with your first yeah. Trials and Traverse Time. Which is our next destination that we are coming up on very quickly. Oh. Oh. Oh, look. A star is going out. So the stars represent worlds. Destiny Come Island on, has been swallowed up by the darkness. And this is the, the fate that King Mickey and now Donald, Goofy, Pluto, and, and in a lot of ways, Sora, are tasked to prevent him. I love these, those little splash logos for the different worlds. It just makes it feel so alive and just like it's gaming in a good way. You, you, you just started looking. Oh, Donald, uh, you know, I bet you that. Ah, uh... what do you know, you big player cat? What do I know? <laughs> what do I know? Come on, Pluto! Pluto, however, knows what's up. So we'll be wrapping up today's episode very shortly. There's a save point that we can get to um, in Traverse Town. And then we have some wandering around to do. We're going to meet some new friends, what a dream. make some new enemies, fight another boss. But soon enough, 
um, Donald and Goofy will have joined our quest, or will have joined their quest. We'll all be uh, allied in finding King, King Mickey and preventing oh, the fate of Destiny boy. Islands of spreading to even more worlds. Do you know where we are? His tail is weirdly shaped and weirdly moving very quickly. Hey! Bye! Morph? Wait for the music. Okay. Play. I love it so much. This is totally weird. I'm in another world. Ah, I love the music here. See, the accessory shop, um, as the as the name would make you guess, sells accessories. But it's also where you meet uh, Sid, which is the name of the character in every Final Fantasy game. I think this one is based off of the Final Fantasy VII version. Could be wrong. Don't call my gramps the name's Sid. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Assuring your island. Good luck with whatever it is you're doing. So Sid is our friend. Uh, he'll help us repair our, our gummy ship later on in the game. Um, he, he's just a good guy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to wrap up today's episode right here. Make sure you do subscribe to the Full Essence channel so you don't miss new episodes of Kingdom Hearts every Monday and Friday. But there's content on the channel every single day. Hope you don't miss any of it. My name is Majerico. I'll see you soon. I don't know about you guys, but I'm full.